Hi students, welcome to Study Smart Channel. Today we are going to study Science Chapter 4.3, The Menstrual Cycle. Let's start. The topics covered in this video are the menstrual cycle, factors causing irregular menstrual cycle, and the effects of irregular menstrual cycle. Do you all know that menstruation is a key milestone in puberty for girls? It's the body way of signaling that a young woman is capable of reproduction. So, what is menstruation? It's the breakdown of the lining of the uterine wall and the discharge of blood. However, menstrual cycle isn't just about period. It's a complex cycle with multiple phases and each phase plays an important role in preparing the body for a potential pregnancy. A brief introduction about menstrual cycle. Throughout the menstrual cycle, the lining of the uterus and the ovaries go through various changes in order to prepare for a possible pregnancy. Next, during the cycle, an ovum will be formed and released from the ovaries. This process is called as ovulation. But who is in charge for all these changes? The brain and the hormones. They work together in order to regulate the cycle, making sure everything happens at the right time. The entire menstrual cycle lasts about 28 days, but it can differ from person to person. And finally, talking about menopause, menstruation will eventually stop between the ages of 48 and 55, marking the end of a woman's reproductive years. Now. Let's take a look at each stage of the menstrual cycle. The first stage is known as the menstruation phase. The menstruation phase is referring to the breaking down of the uterine lining. So, what is uterine lining? Well, you may refer to this picture. Uterine lining is the inner layer of the uterus. It will thicken right after the menstruation phase, which is the day 6 onwards until the menstrual cycle completes which is the day 28. After day 28, the menstruation phase will repeat if there is no fertilization takes place between the sperm and ovum. At that time, the uterine lining will break down and this is what we call as the menstruation or period. During this phase, the uterine lining will be discharged together with the unfertilized ovum and the mucus. After day 5, the menstrual cycle will now enter the second stage which is known as the repair phase. Just like the name sounds, in this phase, the repair works of the broken uterine lining will start to take place. The uterine lining start to rebuild and thicken in order to prepare for a potential pregnancy. Blood vessels will be forming in the uterine lining in order to supply necessary nutrients and oxygen to the growing uterus tissue. At the end of this phase, the uterine lining ready to receive implantation of a fertilized ovum. The next stage of menstrual cycle is known as the fertile phase, which will take place around day 12 to day 17. During this phase, the ovulation will take place. This is when an ovum will be released from one of the ovaries. This usually happens around day 14 of the cycle. The inner lining of the uterus will continue to thicken during this phase. Why does this happen? Well, the body is still getting ready to potentially support a pregnancy. The thickened lining will provide a healthy environment for a fertile egg. In this time, if a sperm enter the female reproductive system, they can meet the released egg in the fallopian tube. This meeting is known as the fertilization. If a sperm successfully fertilizes the egg, it will form a zygote which will then travel down to the uterus. The last stage of menstrual cycle is known as the premenstrual phase. During this phase, the uterine lining will continue to thicken. Uterine lining will be richly supplied with blood vessels and ready for the implantation of the embryo. Means, during this phase, our body is still giving us a chance for fertilization to take place. Let's say fertilization still does not take place during this phase. What will happen? The menstrual cycle will start to repeat. 
the first menstruation phase will repeat back and the uterine lining that thicken will start to break down however what if fertilization successfully take place during this menstrual cycle well in this case the menstrual cycle will stop throughout the pregnancy in order to support the growth of the baby in the uterus of the mother well students just now we study about how a normal menstrual cycle looks like but do you know that about 14 to 25 percentage of women of reproductive age experience irregular menstrual cycle at some point in their life yes an irregular menstrual cycle can be stressful and reduce the chance of pregnancy irregular menstruation can be defined as a condition whereby a woman does not experience menstruation every month as too long or too short menstrual cycle it can be caused by few factors the first factor is due to increase in body weight body fat is not just a storage of energy it also plays a role in hormone production increased body fat can lead to higher level of hormone estrogen because fat cells produce hormone estrogen this extra hormone estrogen can disrupt the delicate balance of hormones that regulate the menstrual cycle normally your menstrual cycle is regulated by a precise balance of hormone estrogen and hormone progesterone if there is too much of estrogen it can lead to overgrowth of the uterine lining as a result it can delay or prevent the ovulation without ovulation the regular cycle of hormone production is disrupted leading to irregular menstruation the next factor that cause irregular menstruation is hormonal imbalance certain health conditions can cause fluctuation in hormones like estrogen and progesterone these hormones are essential for a regular menstrual cycle the imbalances in estrogen and progesterone level in our body can result in irregular menstruation the next factor is emotional disruption well students how emotions are related to menstruation I decided to make it as a smart question. How does the changes in the emotional state of a woman can affect a menstrual cycle? Think about this and I will let you know the answer at the end of the video. Good luck. Then there is excessive exercise. While regular exercise is good for you, too much of it can lead to significant decrease in the energy availability, meaning the body is burning more calories than it is consuming this energy imbalance can cause the body to enter a state of stress where it prioritizes vital functions over reproductive functions this can lead to irregular menstruation lastly health issues like cervical tumors can also be a culprit tumor or other abnormalities in the reproductive organs can interfere with the normal functioning of your menstrual cycle causing irregular or skip menstruation now let's look at the effects of irregular menstruation infertility is one of the most significant effects of irregular menstruation regular menstrual cycles are typically a sign of regular ovulation which is necessary for conception irregular periods often indicate irregular or absent ovulation making it difficult to predict fertile time and reduce the chances of conception irregular menstruation also can complicate family planning efforts it becomes difficult to accurately predict ovulation making it challenging for timely conception lastly irregular menstruation can cause health problems like anemia irregular periods can sometimes cause heavy menstrual bleeding leading to a significant loss of the blood This can result in anemia when the body doesn't have enough red blood cell to carry enough oxygen to the body tissues leading to health issues such as fatigue and shortness of breath. Well students now is the time for smart answer. My question to you was how does the changes in the emotional state of a woman can affect a menstrual cycle? If you find out the answer well let me tell you the answer now. When you experience emotional stress, your body produces higher level of cortisol hormone. This is the primary stress hormone. 
elevated cortisol level can interfere with the normal functioning of the hypothalamus. Hypothalamus is the brain region that controls the hormone release for the menstrual cycle such as the estrogen and progesterone. As a result, this will delay or stop the ovulation causing irregular menstruation. Well students, we have successfully completed today's study session. The topics covered in this video were the menstrual cycle, factors causing irregular menstrual cycle and the effects of irregular menstrual cycle. I hope you had fun learning about menstrual cycle together with me. Until we meet again in the next video, thank you and have a nice day. Please do like and subscribe this video if you feel like you have learned something today. Bye!